Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course teaching you everything you need to know about this program. If you enjoyed today's lesson, be sure to check out the link in the description for the full Masterclass course. Alright guys, perfect. So moving swiftly onwards with our speed manipulation part and overall our video speed section of the Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. On screen right now is a speed ramp. And as you can see right here, if you've never heard of a speed ramp before, they are pretty self-explanatory. For example, you saw right there when the first ramp kicks in right here. And don't worry, I'm going to be showing you in depth how to do these in a second. Essentially, this right here is a speed ramp. So it is going from this line here, which is regular speed. And then when it hits this ramp, it is a gradual increase, aka a ramp right here, to 300 or 200%. I forget what I actually put the example for. And then it's going to speed ramp down to about 50% even though it's lagging a decent bit right now and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and uh, just go ahead and give this a render in and out real quick so you could have a little more in-depth look at this but overall this is gonna be our, our kind of deep dive into speed ramps and overall I'm gonna level up this speed ramps video here in the next section as well um, or in the next lecture as well to actually walk you guys through an amazing method of how to uh, blend clips together very well using speed ramps aka speed ramp transitions but this is our preview right here it is gonna speed ramp all the way to really fast and this rapper is just going to be running around stage right now and then it's going to speed ramp down as a gradual cut down to actually be 50% slow motion. Now the reason this is so much nicer than using just the basic speed adjustments is because the process for example to make a clip slow down um, with the basic speed adjustments would just be to cut it where we would want it to slow down right click it and actually just make it 50% but you see how here we have a really nice gradual ramp down to the slow motion and we can even adjust this ramp to make it more of a gradual um, decrease or increase over here however with the basic speed adjustments it would literally just be one chop so it would change from regular speed for example and then once it hits that cut it would just instantly chop to slow motion which is kind of a little bit choppy and overall it's um kind of just a little bit more, uh, you know, it just doesn't have the nicest look as these speed ramps do where they really give you a nice transition down and overall they ease you into the speed change. But overall, that's the clip right there. Um, let's just go ahead and crack on with creating our first speed ramp right here and we are actually just going to be jumping straight into this. So this right here is the original clip. This is a, uh, you know, a, a venue that was absolutely packed. I filmed this venue probably about three months ago. This is part of the live event videography that I do a lot of. And basically, we're going to be exploring how to create our first speed ramp using this clip right here. So the way you would actually go about creating a speed ramp is you have to enable time remapping. So the way you would do that is not by right clicking on the clip and it's not by right clicking on the side of it here. It's by right clicking on this FX that I told you originally not to click on funny enough. But if we click on that, we get the time remapping option here, the opacity and the motion. Um, for us, let's go to time remapping and just go ahead and click speed. And you'll notice once we click that, the clip kind of changes to show us this line. And this line right here is the uh, actual speed line. So the way we would actually go about altering this and creating our first speed ramp would be to actually press P on the keyboard, hence changing us to our pen tool, which we actually walked through in our keyboard shortcuts a while ago. But what we would then proceed to do is actually find the place in the video that we would want to add our speed ramp, whether that be an increase in speed or a decrease in speed. So let's just go ahead and watch this through until we could see a point that we can see might need some slow motion and in fact it's going to be this bit where the subject aka the artist performing is fully uh, lit up you see um, as earlier he was a little bit darker um, you know right here but right now we want to find a bit where he's fully lit up so for example right here and let's just go ahead and find the place where you guys would want to maybe start doing the speed ramp let's just go ahead and click with the pen tool and if we zoom in we notice at first appearance and at first glance, this has opened, uh, this has created one blue line. But in fact, if we actually click on this and you see how the, the cursor changes from regular to that, if we click, hold and drag out, we actually create two of these little customized um, dials and there's actually a middle dial as well. 
However, these kind of look like they do nothing at first, and that, what this has actually done, is split the clip right here to say that on here there could be one speed, and this side there could be another. You see how, again, it goes from the regular cursor to that kind of cursor, regular cursor to that cursor, and this is essentially the midpoint. So if we go on to the right-hand side, because we know on the right-hand side we want to, uh, you know, speed this up, let's say, we could actually click on this line right here and drag up. And you see those numbers instantly start to appear. And as we drag higher and higher, the numbers go higher and higher as well because that is the uh, percentage that we're increasing. So you guys know that by default, it's on 100%. If we put this to 300% right here, that is increasing the speed by three times. So I'm gonna let it go on there. And this has created a ramp up, to, up from 100 speed, which this line represents here, gradually increasing to 300 speed, but that's actually not the end of it. We can actually go ahead and click these guys up here again, these two little dials, and see this other dial, this middle dial right here. If we click these little blue buttons to the side and just click drag to the side, we can adjust how much of a nice kind of blend and ease we have created into our speed ramp. So if we actually just create that a pretty nice a pretty nice ramp up to our 300 speed from our 100 speed and if we give this a play from here um, I'm sure this is looking like a very nice increase and you can always click these little dials up here at the top again and drag for example that one to the right or this one to the left to actually adjust um, the position of it or um, how gradual of an increase it is for example like if we drag it all the way out it's making it a bigger more gradual increase if we, if we drag it all the way in it's more of like a right angle like a 90 degree angle Either way, let's just go ahead and drag this back over here and let's give this a play to see how well it's doing it and how well it's actually easing into this particular change. And just like that, it is quite a very nice um, ease into this particular uh, speed manipulation and this particular change right here. And it's not as... Um, abrupt of a change as, for example, uh, just adding a cut and then simply changing one speed to 50, one speed to 100 would be. This is a much nicer gradual increase and it kind of eases us into the actual change in speed and that right there is a speed ramp. And we're actually going to be moving on now, guys, to another method of creating speed ramps. But this is going to be how to actually create speed ramp transitions between two clips to make uh, clips kind of seamlessly blend together. But without further ado, let's move on to that in the next lecture. Boom, there you have it, guys. That is another lesson done out of the Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course that is 100% free on my channel. Uh, there's a complete playlist literally working through everything from the most possible basic things available in Adobe Premiere Pro, like, you know what I mean, creating a new project, uh, you know, all the way to the most advanced stuff available to you in the entire program. We're literally breaking through the entire thing. If you haven't already gone over and checked out that playlist, then by all means, if you've made it to this point in the video, I would 100% urge you to. Seriously, this is an extremely useful playlist. By all means, uh, you know, even if you know the, the very basics, uh, you know what I mean? You can go here and just, uh, you know, pick and choose which lessons to actually partake in. It's not all extreme basic stuff. It, it uh, is sequential. So at the very bottom of the playlist, it is the most basic stuff and it's essentially working its way up to the most advanced stuff available in the entire um, uh program Adobe Premiere Pro CC. And um, you know what I mean? Essentially, we're just consistently adding videos to this playlist, working our way up to the most advanced stuff. Obviously, I've already created the entire course. It's over seven plus hours. It is also available on Udemy. Um, and uh, basically, I'm just uh, taking my turn, uh, taking my time to upload this content here, keep on putting it into this playlist, and then uh, once I've actually built up kind of like a, a, a let's say 50 plus uh, videos, all basically little mini lessons breaking down this entire program, then I'm going to start pushing a lot of promotional content uh, on my actual, you know what I mean, you, you, uh, YouTube channel, just kind of pushing and directing you guys um, to this particular playlist. And basically just trying to direct as many people as I can to this playlist because, uh, you know what I mean, I, I originally created this project as part of some commission work for a, uh, a really big Udemy um, instructor who was actually looking to branch off into creating content about 
you know, subjects he didn't actually know about, uh, etc. So I was hired to create this whole project. We worked on this entire thing together for him to actually sell on Udemy, but for me to actually just give away to you guys, obviously I could have sold this thing if I wanted to. I decided I didn't want to actually, uh, you know, try actually just get like, a, a you know, $5 a pop for it, $10 a pop for it, whatever, uh, you know what I mean? Whatever price I set it as instead, I thought there was much more value just in actually giving the whole thing away, seeing as I'd already, you know what I mean, had some sort of monetary gain from it by the fact that I was actually hired to create this um, kind of big intricate project and kind of create the whole lesson plan, everything for this really big creator over on Udemy who literally has hundreds of thousands of students uh, that he's taught various different topics to across the years. Obviously, like I said, he brought me on as I was kind of like uh, someone who had knowledge in an area that he did not. We created the whole seven plus hour course. By all means, go to the playlist and check it out. It is the full Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course. If you guys know even loads about Adobe Premiere Pro, go click on the course. You will see a couple videos that you maybe didn't realize. I literally spent fucking hours combining all of my knowledge, uh, you know what I mean, into uh, of Adobe Premiere Pro, all the tips, tricks, and hacks I've picked up throughout using this in my day-to-day -day profession for the past years, uh, you know what I mean? So there's a huge amount of knowledge that I compiled into this thing. Overall, very helpful to anybody who likes Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm now gonna leave the trailer that actually went onto uh, Udemy, the actual trailer that you can kind of watch before buying the course over on Udemy for the big instructors page just so you guys can get a little bit more enticed if you're even still watching at this point, by all means, I'm sure a bunch of you are. Uh, enjoy the trailer, but the trailer is basically gonna tell you everything I, I just told you now. Go over, check out the playlist in the description, the complete Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course of 2018. Here we go. Really hope you guys enjoy and find it helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm Jack. Have a nice day, guys, and take it easy. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jack, and welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course. I'm a freelance video editor slash videographer as well as YouTuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production, and I'm going to be your tutor for this particular course, and we're gonna be walking through everything together from the most basic to the most advanced of video editing tactics available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. We are going to start off with the introduction section where we get all the basics out the way, and by the end of even this first section, you will have edited together your first basic sequence. And the list of things that I can guarantee you will know how to do by the end of this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course ranges from such a huge amount of stuff, including a full understanding of all the tools and shortcuts available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro, a complete understanding of animated titles, how to create basic ones all the way to advanced ones, how to create custom transitions, where we actually have hands-on activities to do this together, creating those custom transitions, as well as, of course, utilizing those basic default video and audio transitions. You will also have an understanding of the difference between color correction and color grading and also how to utilize both of these video editing and overall color improvement tactics in Adobe Premiere Pro. You will also have complete hands-on understanding of keyframe animation, whether that be using keyframes to lower the decibels of soundtracks, all the way to using keyframes to animate clip dimensions and of course animating text as previously mentioned. You will then have a complete understanding of exporting, whether that be general exporting, exporting for specific platforms using presets or even exporting in the maximum possible render quality available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. You will then have a complete and intricate understanding of video speed and the speed manipulation tactics available to you in this program, whether that be using your simple reverses, your simple speed changes, or even the super advanced speed ramps and speed ramp transitions, which I am going to extensively get into in the video speed section of this course. We are then going to, in section nine, do all the ins and outs of advanced video effects, whether that be simply the VFX section all the way to all of the most user-friendly and time-saving methods. I have personally had to learn the hard way, but I've compiled all of these kind of cheat sheets into that advanced effects section to be saving you guys so much time throughout your creative process in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're then going to uh, actually complete an outro of the course to summarize everything you have learned and you will know how to do, as well as including a master project, which is kind of gonna be an unfiltered, kind of raw, 
hands-on experience and overall how letting you guys get an insight into what my actual real life live almost unedited raw video editing and creative process is going to look like in terms of creating a project for a client that I would actually be creating normally. Without further ado guys, there is so much in store for this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. I can't wait to jump into it. And with that being said, let's do it.